Whenever I run into a Nintendo fan, they always ask me one question. Hey, Reggie, can you tell me about the next Zelda game? As you all know, this year at E3, Nintendo shared the first glimpse of the next Zelda game for Wii U, which is well into development. Let's head back to Nintendo headquarters in Japan to see what Mr. Miyamoto and Mr. Ayanuma have been working on. World Premiere. Okay, so today, why don't we show a glimpse of how the new Zelda game is shaping up? Sure. Ah, oh, and it looks like it's sunset already. So we must be looking to the west. Right. I wanted everyone to see how beautiful this scene is with the setting sun. Oh, wow. He's climbed way up high. Yes. Since this is such a huge world, we're making a number of high places that offer great views. So now you could decide where to go to from here. Right. You can see so far. This is a good place to look around from. And if you see, say, a suspicious-looking tower in the distance, you might decide to head there. Right. And then you saw that flash there. Whoa, you set a new type of beacon. Yes, and now the corresponding place is also marked on the map. Since Link is here now, this is the distance he needs to traverse. You can also zoom in from here, right? You can, by tapping here. And you can also zoom out and out and further out. That's a huge world. We haven't even seen the whole world yet. This must be the edge of the map. How far are we from here to the edge of the map? Mm, yeah, it would take a very long time for Link to walk. But anyway, why don't we try to go to the point that we marked on the map? Let's go! Whoa, a few. Good to know he had the sailcloth. Right, it played an important role in Skyward Sword. Now, it'll be a bit hard to reach our destination on foot, but luckily, here we have a horse. Oh, Epona, long time no see. This is a densely wooded area. Yet, I'm hardly touching the control stick. You're not touching it. Yeah, and I won't hit any trees. Real horses don't run into trees very often. <laughs> well, that seems natural. We're working on details like that. And now that your hands are free, you can uh, do a variety of things on the horse. Yes, you can freely change the camera angle, for example. And you can swing a sword like normal. And? shoot arrows. Uh, you can take time to aim now. Why don't we go to a place where we can aim at enemies with these arrows? There's insect and animal life as well. I saw apples growing here the last time. Yeah, you can pick and eat them. <laughs> this looks a bit suspicious. We must be near a dungeon. Mm. In places like this, I knew it. tend to run into these guys. Oh, and everyone there. All right. Oh, I heard a metallic sound. That sound tells you that your arrow has hit the right spot and damaged your enemy. And then in situations like this... You can vault off the horse. Yes. And while jumping, you can shoot arrows. I see. And you're in slow motion while jumping off the horse. Yes. Wow, he's your dame. So how far away is our destination from here? Yeah, well... <laughs> It'll still take about four or five more minutes, I suppose. Four or five minutes more? Are you sure that this will be released next year? Yes. All of the staff members are working together and doing their best. By the way, Mr. Mimoto, how about your Star Fox title? What? Star Fox? You're asking me that now? No worries about Star Fox. Oh, that's good news. Uh, Star Fox will arrive before The Legend of Zelda next year. The way it uses the gamepad is really starting to feel good. Oh, but before that comes out, we'll release Majora's Mask. Right you are. We, we've made a number of adjustments to Majora's Mask, and it now feels pretty good on 3DS. Yeah, we, we made it easier to play without altering the feel of the original game. And we've worked on some places where we felt improvements were necessary. <laughs> That's right, after 10 years, no less. It's taken 10 years, but the three-day system is intact. And it's so accessible, you could even play while chatting like this. <laughs> well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.